having authority given me of Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. will hearken unto his words, and repenteth and is baptized, the same shall be saved. Nephi, there are disagreements among the people. By what name shall the church be called? Our Father in heaven, we come to thee in fasting and prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we ask thee to show us thy will for this, thy church. What will ye that I shall give unto you? Lord, we will that thou would tell us the name whereby we shall call this church. For there are disputations among the people concerning this matter. Why is it that the people should murmur and dispute because of this thing? Have they not read the scriptures, which say ye must take upon you the name of Christ? which is my name. For by this name shall ye be called at the last day. And whoso taketh upon him my name and endureth to the end, the same shall be saved at the last day. Therefore whatsoever ye shall do, ye shall do it in my name. Therefore ye shall call the church in my name. And ye shall call upon the Father in my name that he will bless the church for my sake. And how be it my church, save it be called in my name? For if a church be called in Moses' name, then it be Moses' church. Or if it be called in the name of a man, then it be the church of a man. But if it be called in my name, then it is my church, if it so be that they are built upon my gospel. And if it so be that the church is built upon my gospel, then will the Father show forth his own works in it. I have given unto you my gospel, that I came into the world to do the will of my Father, because my Father sent me. And my Father sent me that I might be lifted up upon the cross. And after that I had been lifted up upon the cross, that I might draw all men unto me. That as I have been lifted up by men, even so should men be lifted up by the Father, to stand before me to be judged of their works, whether they be good or whether they be evil. And for this cause have I been lifted up. Therefore, according to the power of the Father, I will draw all men unto me, that they may be judged according to their works. And whoso repenteth and is baptized in my name shall be filled. And if he endureth to the end, behold, him will I hold guiltless before my Father at that day, when I shall stand to judge the world. No unclean thing can enter into his kingdom, Therefore nothing entereth into his rest, save it be those who have washed their garments in my blood, because of their faith and the repentance of all their sins and their faithfulness unto the end. Now this is the commandment. Repent, all ye ends of the earth, and come unto me and be baptized in my name, that ye may be sanctified by the reception of the Holy Ghost that ye may stand spotless before me at the last day. This is my gospel. And ye know the things that ye must do in my church. For the works which ye have seen me do, that shall ye also do.
If you do these things, blessed are ye, for ye shall be lifted up at the last day. Write the things which ye have seen and heard, save it be those which are forbidden. For out of the books which have been written, and which shall be written, shall this people be judged. For by them shall their works be known unto men. And ye shall be judges of this people, according to the judgment which I shall give unto you, which shall be just. Therefore, what manner of men ought ye to be? Verily I say unto you, even as I am. And now I go unto the Father. And verily I say unto you, whatsoever things you shall ask the Father in my name shall be given unto you. Therefore ask, and ye shall receive. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For he that asketh receiveth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leads to life, and few there be that find it. But wide is the gate, and broad the way which leads to death and many there be that travel therein until the night cometh where no man can work. <laughs> 